Oh, we're going to change our focus now, and uh, Bunani's Anthony Clark uh, describes Rolfs as a little gem to be discovered again. Quite poetic language coming through. Today, the company bro uh, bought Bregan Chemicals, and their CEO, Lizette Lynch uh, from Rolfs, joins us to share more insight on this. Suzette, uh, Lynette, rather, <laughs> as mm -hmm. I'm giving you another name, uh, lovely to have you uh, here. Let's talk about uh, the, the change in, uh, in, in sector focus um, for Rolfs. Why does this particular acquisition make sense for your future earnings? Well, obviously it opens up a whole new broader product base and market base for us. Um, the customer base also provides us with, uh, with huge scope um, mm. for our other businesses uh, to gain entry into, those, uh, into that customer base and vice versa. You know, for Bragan into our current customer base, um, there's also quite a bit of scope for One them. would read from uh, this acquisition that the intention is perhaps to position yourself as a chemical provider across many industries. Mm. Is this the first of, uh, a na uh, of a longer pipeline of acquisitions uh, for Rolf? We, uh, we hope so. We certainly hope so. We believe that our executive team is now geared for uh, a good organic growth focus as well as a good acquisition strategy focus with Arad van der Merwe, who mm. uh, relinquished his role to drive the, the um, acquisition strategy in Rolfs. Um, definitely, definitely. Let's talk about the funding. Um, How is this transaction going to be funded? Well, it's funded 50-50 through equity and debt. Um, all the details is also obviously available once the circular is mailed to shareholders, uh, which is soon. Mm. And of course, when you start talking debt, one wants to know what level of gearing is uh, the executive comfortable with? Are you able to share with us uh, how leveraged uh, you might become after, after the, this transaction? Not at the moment, but uh, we're quite comfortable with the gearing going forward. So there's another player that's uh, mentioned in uh, the SENS announcement that's, that uh, was put out today. That's uh, Massimong Group. How do they fit into the broader picture? Well, Massimong obviously has taken up um, the equity side of the funding. Um, they're going to play a very strategic role going forward. Mm. Mike Teke is already on our board. We're very excited having an anchor shareholder uh, like Massimong. Mm -hmm. um, and that also obviously plays along with our acquisition strategy going forward. Just a quick one before I let uh, Owen jump in. I can see that he's itching. So I, I just I quickly want to touch on uh, the, the, the role of Mike Tech because we know that he's also the vice president of the Chamber of Mines. You're a big player in the mining space. Does this not create certain uh, corporate governance issues and give you unfair advantage in the space because of his influence uh, in the chamber and in the industry? We're in fact not a big player on the mining um, side. We've got a role of silica, that is a, a silica mine in Brits. Uh, we have 80 people employed in that mine, so relatively, relatively actually a very small player in the mining industry. So a small player, but no doubt that uh, the presence of uh, Mike Tecker on the board would influence uh, positively. Um, yes, absolutely. I'm sure there's a positive influence, um, but you know, like I say, we're a small player, we keep 80 people employed, um, and yeah. Oh, and I'm sorry, I've just dominated this whole conversation. <laughs> so, so strategically, are you, not, are you not sensing that Mike will most probably push, uh, push for more involvement in the mining space from your, from your, from your company's perspective? Uh, obviously, he's coming out of the optimum coal space and the vice president of uh, the Chamber of Mines, as Nuzboy said. And actually, you mentioned, I think probably without noticing, you said it's nice to have an anchor shareholder. Mike is actually a shareholder at Anchor Capital as well. Mm. Mm. So do you think it's going to be able to help you guys get into more of the mining uh, sort of support services from your perspective? Owen, uh, the mi mining is not actually our focus. Yeah. Our focus is more industrial chemicals, industrial and related chemicals, agrochemicals, water chemicals. Um, we've positioned ourselves to play an integral part in the provision of food, water, um, security in Africa and also locally, mm. Mm. Um, and infrastructure and industrial development. So mining is not that much, uh, mining is not a focus for us. Well, congratulations on that uh, acquisition. That is the chief executive of Rolf speaking to us uh, about that acquisition of Bregan Chemicals.